meet precious and tumble. Their bare-nosed wombat joeys, and they're lucky to be alive. She's called Tumble because when her mum was hit by the car, the man in the car behind it saw little Pinky come out of the pouch. Tumble suffered a broken jaw and lacerated tongue. This is precious. Both share the loss of something irreplaceable. She's a road orphan, yeah, roadkill orphan. Most of the ones we get in are roadkill orphans. Hi, Bill. Bill and Leslie Waterhouse are volunteer wildlife carers. This eastern grey kangaroo is their latest road rescue. Any movement? It was splayed out when it was found. It makes you feel really good if you can save things and even if you don't save them, if they have a, a better death than um, starving to death in its, in its mother's pouch on the side of a road. Treatment of injured wild animals is often complicated, costly and almost non-existent in regional Australia. Dr Howard Ralph created this care centre five years ago by converting a shearing shed within his Braidwood property. The same level of care is required for a wildlife patient as is required for any other, be it a domestic species like a dog or a cat or a human primate. The bulk of his patients are road victims and his work relies on community goodwill, volunteers and charitable donations. It's a big struggle actually and we took a really big hit when the financial crisis hit. When we first started this we used to look forward to release day. Now we really hate it because you don't know what's going to happen to them. But there's still a long road to recovery for these joeys, with another two years of human care before they can be released back into the wild. Adrian Francis, ABC News, Braidwood.